what your body gotta do. What? Hey what's up guys, it's Sinu here back on video, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So today guys we are going to take a look at how to make your very own overlay using your Android device only so without being said that it gets started. So what you are seeing now is an application which called Adobe Photoshop Touch. If you don't have this application I have already done a tutorial on how to get it for free so make sure you watch it, it's going to be down in the description below. So open it up then hit on that button there, then hit on blank document. Okay, once you guys done that go ahead and uh, just to switch it uh, to 1280 per 720 so switch the resolution then hit on ok and once you guys done that you will have something like that so this is a blank document now go ahead and make sure that you are uh, on this square selection tool on the bottom left so once you are on the selection tool i'll go ahead to mod and here make sure that it says plus button okay once you guys done that go ahead and select this area and once you are here hit on that end button and hit on fill and stroke and make sure that you change the color to the one that you like for example green and once you guys done that go ahead and hit on that end button and hit on warp right there so uh, you're gonna go ahead and warp it from the edges so at the end you will have something like that so this is a pretty cooler shave so once you guys done that go ahead and hit on that end button uh, uh, check mark button sorry so hit on that end button now and once you are here go ahead and hit on fill and stroke and make sure that you go to tip and hit on stroke and change the color to the one that you like make sure that it is a different color then now what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and make sure that the thickness is set to 6 okay once you guys done that hit on that uh, button there and hit on deselect and now go ahead and hit on that layer button and hit on that plus button now and once you guys are here go ahead and hit on empty layer and once you guys done what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and place it below this layer right over here so once you guys done that go ahead and just make sure that you are on the square selection tool and just select this area and make sure that it is lower than the first uh, layer right over here so here you go once you guys done that go to end and hit on fill uh, to stroke and do the same steps that we have done with the first one so we are done right over here now let's go ahead and warp it from the edge from the edges same as we have done with the first one so let's go ahead and warp it so as you can see right over here we're gonna go ahead and warp it from here and now it's still the other side right over here so here we go, that looks pretty much cool as you can see right over here. Now once you're done, hit on the check mark button, then hit on that layers but a button right over there. Okay, once you guys done that, go ahead and hit on that to uh, hit on that uh, button on the top, then hit on that button again and hit on merge down, and you will have that. So hit on that plus button and hit on duplicate layer. So you'll have two layers. So select one of them and hit on that end button and hit on transform. Then hit on uh, the flip Y right over there. So once you guys press on it, it's going to flip. Now we'll go ahead and transform it and make sure it, that it is on the bottom. So now go ahead and hit on that uh, check mark button and you will have at the end something like that so go ahead and add some text right over there so i'll be right back when i'm done okay guys i'm done and as you can see at the end you will have something like that it looks pretty much cool and as you can see from the top i did add subscribe like and share and from the bottom one i hit on follow so the people will follow my facebook page and my google plus which is pretty cool now once you guys done that the last step is pretty much easy all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hit on that done button right over to save it so hit on uh, done and hit on save once you guys done that all you can do is you're gonna go ahead and just make sure that you hit on that share button Button there and hit on save to gallery and from here make sure that you switch from GPEG to PNG make sure that you do this then go ahead and select the overlay or the layer that we was uh, actually creating so this one right over here then once you guys done that hit on ok and it should be saved to your Android device Alright, once you're done, all you can do is you're gonna go ahead to your own video editor. Now, I'm using this application which is called Kyan Master, but if Kyan Master does not work for you, there is other video editors like PL Predictor and Viva Video, they can do the trick as well. So, go ahead and hit on that layer button and hit on image and import the, the image that we was working on. So, go ahead now and resize it and make it bigger so till you will be happy with it, of course. And here we go, that looks pretty much nice. And this is really helpful for the people who have a gaming commentary videos it will be looks pretty much badass so i have already seen a lot of youtubers have done a commentary video with this uh, like layer so it's going to help you to get more subscribers hopefully and it looks pretty much nice and how to make it it's ridiculously easy as you have seen guys so that's about it for this video really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did 
please give this video a big thumbs up that really means a lot for me and also make sure to check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe for more and I'll see you guys tomorrow till then peace out guys